Hey everybody, how you doing today? It's time for another episode as we move into a new state of interest. And if you are new to the channel, you are welcome to subscribe and join our house hunting community here. So this is where I'm venturing through state to state, through town to town, to see just how much house, cabin, and acreage we can get for our money. And today we are moving into a beautiful state and looking at some very fine properties like this one right here, sitting on three acres and it's listed for $240,000. And then there's this beautiful home on 4.75 acres for $229,900. So yes, we're looking at two beauties under $250,000 today, you guys as we move into the beautiful state of Tennessee. So if you're moving to Tennessee, you're gonna be among seven million people. It is in the low 90s and they might get some rain in Tennessee today. And for the real estate tax rate, we're looking at 0.67%, which is lower than the national average coming in at 0.99%. So we're gonna begin right here. Wow, this one is quite a beauty. And uh, this may be one of the largest houses I have shown thus far on this channel. This house has 5,315 square feet and it is on the three acre parcel, five bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms. And this house has been on the market for 241 days. It was built in 1973. So when we look at Collinwood, Tennessee on the map, we are in Wayne County and the population was 982 people in 2010. So here is Collinwood. So Huntsville, Tennessee is down here to the Southeast. And as we scroll out, we are right here. Memphis is way over here to the West. Huntsville is down to the Southeast. So this is where we are in this neck of the woods, right here in Collinwood. And so this one is $240,000. Let's see what we're getting for our money on three acres of land. This looks really pretty. Let me move myself out of the way a little bit more here. Okay, so this looks like a very rustic build with stone trim. Big parcel, three acres of land right here. We can do whatever we want on the three acres of land, I'm guessing. So it looks like it has like a T111 rough cut siding. Beautiful. Look at the roof lines. One, two, three different roof lines. Four actually, if you count this one. So we do have some stairs getting us up to each level. Okay, so getting down to the interior. Wow, look at this. Beautiful. Even though I would say, and I'm not knocking this property, I'm sure it's gorgeous in person as well as it looks right here, but this is a lot of stonework for just this little fireplace area here. And then you've got your little place to stack the wood. Now you guys can leave comments and let's just come up with some creative ideas, but I think that I would have had a beautiful open area here for the fireplace and maybe a nice chunky mantle, maybe something above here, above this for a nice focal point, but it's beautiful nonetheless. We're getting uh, beautiful hardwood floors. Look at the green furniture. Okay, so here's a view from the upper level. Anybody want to play me a song? There's our piano. <laughs> Maybe Billy Joel will come over and be our piano man in Tennessee. I'm sure we can find a lot of stars next door in Nashville, that's for sure. Maybe Laney Wilson will come on over and sing us a tune, join our cocktail party, and bring us some craft fruit. <laughs> Okay, so let's see here. Look at the beautiful staircase. The wrought iron railing really gives it a nice pop. Okay, so that would be your living room. Okay, so here is the kitchen. Well, this is not at all what I expected. Not at all what I expected. So we have like a patio table in the dining area. And this could be, hmm, could be a vinyl floor, it's kind of hard to say, but when you're there in person, have home inspections, you can walk this house and take a look and tell us how it really is. So here in the kitchen, we do have a built-in range in the middle of the kitchen, and then we have this nice counter here. Looks like there is some overhang so we could have some counter high chairs. We do have a window above the sink. We have a built-in double oven. There's our refrigerator, it does have a microwave above that double oven also. We are getting some wallpaper. So this too many people may be dated. Looks like there's a little counter here for maybe some office space. Okay, so here is a view of the opposite side of that kitchen, the dining area. And this is, a, as we see off the living room, we do have a set of slider doors here, a lot of cabinets. This is a lot of house. 
over 5,000 square feet. And I'm telling you, we could move in with a few people and not even run into each other on a daily basis. <laughs> so, you know, that's why I've mentioned in the, on the channel before that when they're sitting on the market for this long, don't be afraid to make an offer because all they can say is no and they may have received offers in the past that they did not accept. And all we can do is try. It's a lot of cabinets. Here's another view of our kitchen. So we're getting a dishwasher there, a lot of counter space. So this is also off-putting because we have the really white refrigerator and then the cream colored built-in oven and then the black microwave. There's our little dishwasher. Okay, so here would be the formal living area. That looks like they were using it as maybe a downstairs bedroom at one time. The carpet is stained, so that is another no-no. That is, again, another negotiation point for a buyer. Okay, so here's one of the bathrooms. That's funky wallpaper, but I kind of like it. So here we have the shell sculpted sink with the faucet. And it looks like this is going to need some attention. Maybe it's just peeling wallpaper, but nonetheless... That's negotiation power too. Woo! Jumping for joy. <laughs> Let's jump for joy in Collinwood, Tennessee, you guys. Woo! Now that is a first. Woo! We can stay in physically good shape with our trampoline. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to have some fun today, you guys. Going to have some fun in Collinwood, Tennessee. Wow! Okay, if walls could talk, that is for sure. That's got to be some high ceiling in there. Oh my goodness. All right, yeah, here we go. We could put the spotlight right on ourselves and jump for joy. This is beautiful woodwork though, wow. Okay, so here is our avocado green tub and shower combination. And this is either more ceramic or vinyl in that bathroom there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to picture it. Bouncing on a trampoline inside of a house, sweet. I guess that's what you do when it's 5,000 square feet of space. Okay, so here is a dated vanity, but again, this could be painted. We could put new hardware, even though I kind of like the hardware, but this could be painted and spruced up. Okay, so here's our laundry room. Hey, with this $240,000 house, we're getting a full-size washer and dryer with cabinet space. Okay, that's always a bonus. It's helpful. One less thing you got to buy, right? So here is another, this is one of the bedrooms. It looks like we might be getting... Laminate could be hardwood, but it kind of looks like a laminate floor. So we're getting two sets of windows. That might be a vinyl floor, actually. Okay, so here's another bathroom. Dual sinks here. You got your water closet or your yeah, your water closet over on this side with your co commode and your shower. Nice size shower. Okay, so here is hmm, maybe a home study. This is definitely going to need a little clean up, but not horrible by any means. We've definitely seen worse. Beautiful woodwork. Look at this. Okay, so here's another room. This could be another bedroom. We have a chandelier here. This could be a dining space. It does have a closet, though. Okay, there's that beautiful staircase. Look at the detail on this staircase. Now we do have a carpeted staircase, but look at the gold detail on that railing. That is amazing. That is really pretty. Now this, I would remove that carpet immediately and I would just bring out this wrought iron and the detail and really make that pop along that natural wood there. And then of course we have some built-in shelves, which is nice. Good use of the wall space. Here's another bathroom. Woo! <laughs> okay, wow, that's a good size bathroom. And there we have more ceramic tile, dual sinks. There is our black shower. Wow, can't quite tell if that's a tub. It looks like a shower, but then there's a spout down here. That might be a, I'm not really sure what that is. I guess it's a shower. There is a seat there. It's kind of cool how it's up there on that platform. There's a butterfly detail. That's pretty. Okay, so here may be a 
There's your fitness room. Got your workbench there. There's your intercom. You can call me when you're ready. <laughs> call me when you're ready for cocktails or coffee. Okay, so here is another view of that fitness room, your home gym. Another bedroom. Look at this. Okay, so this has carpet that would have to immediately be removed. Oh, look at We're all ready for Christmas. <laughs> Six months out. Well, we're ready. Okay. So here is another living area. Beautiful view, though. These could all be trimmed down. That's what I would do with that, I think, is trim it down and really get a prettier view of the countryside. Here is the basement with another fireplace. Rack them up, you guys. Here's another pool table. So we're missing some suspended ceiling here. We have exposed wires. So again, this is more negotiating. These are tools that we can negotiate with because the house needs some attention. And the longer they sit vacant, the you know they really don't hold as much value when they're not occupied because things go wrong. That's why home inspections are really important. There's another view of the basement. So there's our man door to go outside. Looks dry though, but we do have what appears to be mold on this cabinet, mold on the wall. So that may have to be removed. Okay, there's another area of the basement. A lot of storage with 5,000 square feet. You can probably find a lot of places to store stuff that you're gonna lose track of where you put it. <laughs> Okay, so here is a garage space. And here is one of the decks. This has got to be just gorgeous in person, you guys. $240,000. Look at that detail. That's pretty. That might be a little courtyard. Look at this. The wildlife would be abundant. Three acres. Look at that. I can't quite tell what's behind there. Is that the driveway must be? Oh no, that's an in-ground pool. Wow, complete with a slide. So we're getting a trampoline, we're getting a home gym, <laughs> we're getting a pool. We can stay physically fit for sure in this place, you guys. Wow. So here is a view of the outside parcel, outside your driveway. And there is another view of the home. Wow, what a beauty. This one's fun to view. 303 East Park Avenue. Of course it's on Park Avenue. Forget Monopoly. We're going to live in Collinwood, Tennessee. And we have just passed go. <laughs> this house was built in 1973. And it does say rural Tennessee, 73 architectural marvel, seamlessly blends natural beauty with timeless design, abundant light, sunlight bathes the space, highlighting its grandeur, impressive ceilings, soaring vaulted ceilings with captivating ambiance, five bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms, built-in storm shelter, and so that's really nice in Tennessee, generous back deck and pool potential, which is nine foot pool awaits restoration, and spacious front yard for your landscaping and activities. Wow, sweet property right here. And for history, it was listed in October of last year for $275,000. Then they re reduced it to two forty. dollars then they removed it, and now they're trying again at the $240,000 price point. And when we look at the street view for this house, well, this isn't gonna show us much. Here's our little town though. Got a coast to coast home and auto. Games and movies. <laughs> I'm surprised that place doesn't have a home theater. Okay, and there's our Mexican restaurant. We're all set for tacos. <laughs> okay, 303 East Park Avenue in Collinwood, Tennessee, 38450. Been on the market 241 days, and it's $240,000 with 5,315 square feet of space on three beautiful acres. Nice. Okay, moving on to this one. This is 229.9. This one is on 4.75 acres. This one has three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms, and it's 2,792 square feet, so about half the square footage. This house has been on the market for 40 days, it was built in 1981, and it's in Rutledge, Tennessee. So we are a few hours away from Collinwood, and we are in Granger County. So we are in this neck of the woods. We are closer to Knoxville with this location. So we are right here on the map. So we are east of Maynardville, west of Bean Station. We are north of Jefferson City and south of Tazewell. So right here in Rutledge. And uh, 229.9, what are we getting? OK, 
Okay, this looks really pretty. This could be a log home. We are getting a metal roof for, on this house here. Nice open carport there. Getting a dormer. Wow, this is really pretty. Wow. Looks like the roof is in really good condition. Beautiful yard, beautiful landscaping. Yeah, this is a log build. However, it looks like laminate flooring, which is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. Very clean from what we see here. It's not occupied. You ever wonder where these people go? I mean, these are huge houses. They've been on the market for a while. Where do these people go? And they just leave the houses sit unoccupied, but they still have to pay for the utilities. If they're on, they've got to pay for their taxes. If they hold a mortgage, I mean, it's a lot of money that's just, you know, going right out the window when these houses are not occupied. So here's our kitchen. So we are getting a dishwasher, but we don't see a range. A lot of natural cabinets there, natural woodwork for the cabinets. So here could be a bedroom maybe. Might be off of the kitchen. That might just be like a dining living space. This is pretty enclosed porch there. That's very nice with some indoor outdoor carpet. That's a nice, nice use of space right there. Functional space, I should say. So here is one of the bathrooms. Does have a nice window, different flooring in this room, and we do have a little baseboard heater. Looks like a tub and shower combination. Here's a staircase leading us up to the next level. Kind of a raw staircase, it's kind of a surprise. Okay, so we're, we are gonna get some wallpaper in that bathroom there. Here is the second story, the dormer. Does have carpet, looks very clean. A lot of woodwork. We have recessed lighting in this room. There's the closet space, complete with the wooden handles. Okay, so here's the other bedrooms, maybe another bathroom. I'm not seeing any heater vents on the floor with this in this room. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of, I wonder if they covered them up with a carpet because you definitely want some heat up there. Okay, so here is the bathroom with the wallpaper. Pretty wallpaper, but for me, I would remove that. And there is the vanity and the this top for the sink is a little dated, but looks okay nonetheless. There's a little baseboard heater in the bathroom. Here's the tub and shower combination. This needs to be cleaned up or replaced. The glass doors, shower doors. And the flooring is a little different in this bathroom also. Okay, so here's a staircase leading what looks to be the basement. Here's our basement lower level. Hope oh, that's your washer and dryer connect, so we're not getting a washer and dryer with this house. I was hoping to see a utility sink, but I don't see one of those either. Duct work looks good. But again, home inspections, and you can drive by these properties at different times of the day. And there's a website, www.familywatchdog.org, which lets you know about your neighboring residents. I'm wondering what's behind this door with a little moon on it. That's really cute. And I'm wondering if that's like a sauna in there. It'd be nice to have a sauna. Okay, so here is basically the raw basement. Looks dry though. Okay, there is our covered porch. Very pretty. Here's your breezeway, carport patio space, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that's the carport. So this house doesn't seem to have a garage. This might be a little area for your pets to run in and out of. That's kind of cool. Has a little door there so you can keep those kind of separate when you need to. There's the back side of the house. A lot of windows to let this Tennessee light in. That's very nice. A lot of ferns. 
Again, the landscaping could be trimmed back. This could possibly need some maintenance right about now. It's been on the market for 40 days. And there's another view of the one side. And there's a view of the dormer. So we have like seven, eight windows just on this side alone. But that is a gutter, I think. Uh, or is it? I'm looking to see if there's any downspouts. Ooh, look at the wisteria. Oh, that is gorgeous. Really pretty. This must be gorgeous right about now. These are a little bit blurry. Okay, so let's go back up. Are there downspouts on this house? I don't really see any. Hmm. All right, well, let's get some information on this beauty. 295 Clint Williams Road in Rutledge, Tennessee, 37861. It's been on the market for 40 days, and again, it was built in 1981. It has 2,792 square feet for 229.9. Tranquility at its finest in Rutledge, Tennessee. Charming three, two and a half bath, two story log home. Sits on almost five acres, and it does have the two car open car carport. Pardon me, and let's see extra storage. Property is not only a serene retreat, but also close to amenities. Cherokee Lake is just a stone's throw away, offering water and boating activities for your slice of Tennessee paradise. Nice. Okay, so let's see the history on this one. It, oh, I gotta click more on this one. Ooh, we got some history. Holy Moses. It was sold in 2000 for 99.9. Then it was sold five years later for 150. Then it was sold a year later for 147.50. Then several years later, they listed it for 199.9. Then they reduced it, reduced it, then they removed it many times, and then they tried again in 2021, then it was removed, then they listed it again in 2022 for 174.9, then they sold it in um, October of 2022 for $125,000. Now they're trying it for 229.9. Very unusual of a house of this size to be listed and sold that many times, but again, when you're there in person, you can really get down to the nitty gritty, have that home inspection. And when we look at the street view, wow. So we're getting a view of the Tennessee mountains with this property. And here we are. There isn't anybody around. Look at this. Well, no, I'm sorry. Take that back. We have a home across the street, but that looks about, looks like those are the only neighbors. There could be somebody over here, but it's pretty private nonetheless. And again, that is in Rutledge, Tennessee, you guys, for $229.9, and it's been on the market for 40 days. So there, there are our two houses under $250 in the beautiful state of Tennessee, home to 7 million people. Perhaps you are headed to Tennessee as well. Wherever you are today, hope you're having a fabulous day. Keep those cups full of happiness and stay hydrated, you guys. So you never know what we're going to get for this kind of money. And when they're sitting on the market this long, never be afraid to make the offer if these are in your price point or somewhere around that. So wherever you guys are, hope you have a great day and be sure to stay safe and stay aware and stay tuned. And you're always welcome to subscribe to the channel. Cheers, everybody. Have a great day.